Hey guys. So I am hoping that all of you have received your Thrive gift box and in it, you found a set of exercise bands. And I'm gonna show you how to use those today. And before we get to that, I wanna tell you really quickly why they're important. So I know that you guys have big jobs and you do a lot of work. You spend a lot of time at work. And when we do that, even with the best of intentions with our posture, even if we spend some of our time standing at a standing desk, we end up with desk posture. You've probably also heard of tech neck. It's a part of it. So when we sit all day long, our hips get tight, our glutes actually go to sleep. They go dead. So they get really weak. Our pecs get tight because our arms are forward, either on a computer keyboard or on a device or even driving in a car. And our back, the muscles in our back, they get weak. So we end up with this C-curve posture. Even when we go to stand up, it's one of the reasons that you feel like this is all locked down and stuck and you want to reach up and go back. And that's actually one of the best things that you can do. So why the bands? The bands are great because you can do them anywhere. You can throw them in a suitcase if you're traveling and need to get a workout in a small space in a hotel room. And they're really great for isolating, correcting imbalances, and waking up those glutes again to help us prevent back pain. So we're going to take one of your bands and we're going to place it around the ankles. And you'll notice that there's a variety of different resistance in that band package. So you choose the one that you think works for you, and you can always play around with it. Try one. If it's too heavy, you can drop down to one of the lighter ones. If it's too easy, you can bump up to one of the heavier ones. So we're going to stand up. We're going to go feet about hip width apart, soft knees. Pull your belly button in nice and tight. Just roll your shoulders up, back and down. Squeeze that belly button in. And we're going to do some side steps. So I want to think that my toes are pointing in, my heels are pointing out, and I'm just going to step to the side, step together. I'm keeping some tension on the band the entire time. Step to the side, step together. And when I get to the end of my area that I have available to me, I'm going to walk back. I'm gonna go down and back a couple times here. Now, if you're in a small space and you don't have room to travel, you're just gonna go side to side, side to side. Now, if you're doing this with me, you're gonna already feel your glutes are starting to engage. You feel the legs starting to work. So from there, we're gonna do what's called a monster walk. So again, I'm gonna to try to get a little space in front of me. I'm gonna go feet about hip width apart, belly button pulled in, and I'm gonna step, step together. Step, step together. Step, tap, step, tap, and then I'm gonna go back and back and back and back, okay? Forward and forward and back and back. Again, you're going to feel those legs work. You should feel those glutes turn back on. That's what we need to help prevent that low back pain that causes so many problems for us. We're going to go feet together, belly button in, soft knees. Now I'm just going to go one leg, tap back and in, tap back and in. Okay, you're going to feel this both in the working, the moving leg and in the stabilizing leg. You can go 10 one side and then switch 10 on the other side. Again, I love these for travel. I love doing these at home because you don't need anything except your body and the bands in a little bit of space. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my seat and I'm gonna add a band. Now, if you haven't done this work before, just using the one band at the ankle might be enough. Do that a few times, go through a couple sets of what we just showed, and then you can always graduate, right, to a second band. Now, when I put a second band on, I'm gonna bring the heavier band up above my knee, and I'm gonna leave my lighter band down at my ankle. Okay, so it's adding some resistance, again, that we can press out against with our legs. 
And that's important because sometimes we'll find imbalances. And I know a lot of you are active. We got a lot of runners in this group. All these things are super important so that we open up those hips, strengthen the glutes, prevent low back pain. If you're a runner, if you're super active, you need your muscles to work the way that they're supposed to. If not, it's going to cause problems. So we can do those same exercises, right, with the double bands. We can go side to side. We can do our monster walks. We can do our tap back and in. What we can also add is a press out with the knees and then you're gonna isolate. So we're gonna go one knee in and out. One knee in and out. Making each leg work independently of the other, all right? So you go 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. And then we can go both in, out, in, out. Okay. All right. So that's a really good one for just adding some extra, a little extra degree of difficulty. All right. Now we're going to take the one off of the ankle and keep the one at the knee. Here, we can work on our squats. So we're gonna press the knees out, sit back on our heels, pull our belly button in, and just give me a body weight squat. Don't let your knees knock in. That's what's gonna happen. If you watch and pay attention, most of the time, those knees are gonna wanna knock in, and this band keeps you honest. It's something that you may not even realize if you're doing a squat without the band. And if you notice that happening on one side more than the other, it's probably because of an imbalance, but these bands and these exercises will help to correct that. And it's all about injury prevention. What I can also do is a lunge. So I can do a lateral lunge, and then I can switch sides. So just adding a little degree of difficulty to all of these body weight exercises that I can do at home. I can do front lunges. I can do back lunges, step back, step together, step back, step together. You can also do mat work. And we talk a lot about, again, glute strength because it is a key component in preventing low back pain. So you may have heard of a glute bridge and this band is just another way that we can add to that. So I'm gonna put my arms down by my sides, I'm gonna press into my heels, I'm gonna squeeze my buns together, press against that band, hips are gonna go high, and then I drop it back down. Squeeze, lift, drop. You can also feel your core engage when you do this exercise, all right? If that's easy, we can go single leg. Squeeze, lift, drop, and go 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and last but not least, we can keep working our core and our glutes with a donkey kick, straight up and down, up and down, 10 on one side, 10 second hold, switch, 10 on the other side, 10 second hold. So all this work will really help us to correct imbalances, to prevent injury, and to prevent that low back pain. So I hope you'll enjoy your bands. We're gonna provide some extra workouts for you using them this week, but I just wanted to give you an introduction and let you know how you can start to use them. I look forward to seeing you in our one-on-one -on -one sessions. All right, thank you so much.